I have been driving around this parking lot doing circles for way too long. I can't figure out where the perfect spot is where I want to camp for the night. Like this parking lot's huge and I have no idea uh, where I want to pick. We have this corner where the RV is and then there's this corner over here but it looks like someone's in his truck. And I don't want to hang out with someone. I want to solo camp, not with a, another person. So yeah, we're just driving. See, I like the looks of this corner right here. But this truck, the only other truck over here, it's black Tacoma. Someone was in it not that long ago, so it makes me a little sketched out. Like right here, would this be a good spot? No, I'm not feeling it, dude. I really, hold on, we gotta go. I'm leaving the spot. <laughs> I just feel so bipolar right now. The spot where I wanna go, or where I did have in mind, was right where that RV was, well is, and where you guys saw it, and I just, can't go there because that RV is taking up the entire spot. See, I would park behind the RV, but there's some guy messing around right there playing with two cars. Looks like he's jump starting them, so I don't want to do that. Like right here, right? It's like my big brother. Look at that. My big brother. Yeah, I feel like it looks good. We're hanging out next to each other, but do I want to park you? <laughs> this is such a bad intro, too. Hi, welcome back to the channel. I don't know where to go. Oh, that car is leaving. But like, he, he left the hood open, so he's totally coming back. Oh, rumming your engine. Like, that's where I want to park. Oh, I feel comfortable right here. Pull just like this. Yeah, buddy, who said girls can't park? Come on now. The truck's in reverse. Also, if you guys notice my truck's in reverse right now, uh, we're backing up, and you guys can't hear the backup beeper. I got the backup beeper. Snip the wire. Just snipped it. Welcome back to the channel, you beautiful people. I appreciate you guys for taking the time out of your day and clicking on today's episode. Uh, today's gonna be a little interesting. So, it it's a warm, it's a warm, warm front right now. And whenever it's winter time and we get slammed with warm weather, warm air plus cold air mixing it together, not good. When you mix <laughs> warm air and cold air, it creates very heavy winds um and that's what we're dealing with right now so it is like i think like 40 something degrees out almost 50 degrees in february absolutely insane um definitely gonna mess with some of the local ice but not concerned because it's gonna get cold out again it's just a couple days of warm weather um so we're gonna have very heavy winds and to top that off it is going to be raining so we're gonna have rain and heavy winds it's gonna be my first ever rain night in the truck bed and I'm so excited because um, that's I fall asleep to the sound of rain every time it rains out like I'll open my window in my room a crack just so I can listen to the rain uh, so it's gonna be pretty freaking cool ignore the crack on my screen but it says storm warning right there should I just pop it up on the screen this is not working and I just feel like that's not working maybe no you guys can't see that screenshot putting it on the screen for you guys. It says storm warning from Thursday, 11 p.m. until Friday, 9 a.m. So the storm's gonna start tonight at 11 and end tomorrow at 9 a.m. Um, oh, let me screenshot this. This is nice. Oh my God, wait. This one says we're getting up to 65 mile per hour expected winds. What the heck? Okay, sorry, I clicked off of it and clicked back on. Damaging winds will blow down trees and power lines widespread power outage 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 be prepared precaution take actions yada 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 so i'm not lying proofs in the pudding right there uh it's funny that it says power lines because you guys want to see something right outside the truck it's going to be really windy i don't have my wind mic on at the moment so sorry for the wind that you might expect right now it's bad out Those are some power lines right there in the truck. Power lines, and then there's more power lines over there. So, we love that. It's gonna be quite a night. We're having a slumber party tonight. Stick with it, stay tuned. I have a, actually a giveaway that I am doing for you guys. I did a really cool series called Unchartered. You guys can check it out, I'll leave it linked down below. And in that series, I, I, I ended up winning a challenge where I can give away a really cool thing to you guys, which I'll tell you guys about later because I don't feel like making this intro 30 minutes long. I'm starving. It's only 4 o'clock. Well, actually, it's 5 o'clock right now. Um, let's get cooking. I'm excited. 
we have really cool dinner and a really cool breakfast that I'm gonna make and uh, can't wait to start cooking and getting in the bed of the truck. But I wanna cook before the sun goes down, so. All right, I'll meet you beautiful people in the bed of the truck. I think uh, the cops are here for me already. Someone just got pulled over. This is called like a park and ride. I don't really understand um, what a park and ride is. I feel like it's self-explanatory, like you park and then you peace out. It's 24 hours. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think you're so, I don't know. I don't think you pay to be here. It's our uh, beautiful video sponsor, which has a lot to do with the giveaway, actually. <laughs> it's very hard to cut on this cutting board due to the fact that my truck bed tailgate uh, is not flat. So don't make fun of my cooking. It's, it's a little bit easier right here actually, but it's still not great. And I didn't bring a knife besides a filet knife, so we're rolling with that. Making some dinner. Cool. You know. So you quit living your truck? Cool. You like awesome. it? Awesome, yeah. <laughs> I saw the camera. I didn't know if you I didn't I saw you cooking uh, stuff too, but I didn't know I was like, what the heck is she doing? I do uh I don't know if you watch YouTube. Yeah. I do YouTube videos. Yeah. Uh it's I called do TikTok. <laughs> but then it kinda of became a thing and then yeah. I did my drunk camping videos and uh, yeah, 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 Do you yeah, camp yeah, a so. lot? So what's that? Do you camp a lot? Oh I camp, yeah. 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 That's awesome. Yeah, not for nothing. Um Right now we're in a motel temporarily till we get this fixed. But I tend. To oh, that's yours. So that's, that's where my, I was. I saw that there. Back. I was like, shoo! I wanted to park there. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a good. We took that. There was somebody there for a while. We've been. Yeah. He was here. Well, he got evicted. I'm like, oh Jesus. <laughs> anyways, nice chatting. What's your name? Uh, Becca. You, Becca. It's fishing with Becca. I do TikTok too, but fishing with you Becca. can look it oh, up. Shit. Yeah. Oh, you fish too. Yeah. But yeah, the whole point of it was to fish and travel, but not fishing today. No. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm not trying to talk loud, but the guy that just came over here is now blasting copyright music, so I'm gonna have to really bump up some background music for you guys so I don't get copyrighted and my channel gets deleted. This is ridiculous. All because I can't get copyrighted from that guy. The guy that literally just came over to me is now blasting country music. Like we are just the ultimate best friends after that one conversation. No hate though, he seems like a sweetheart, but copyright man just sucks. So here we go, we're we're crisscross applesauce inside my, my truck. Hopefully my sweet potato fries aren't burning. Okay, so how we're we gonna season this burger? Oh wow, um, it's just a little <clears throat> bit of garlic salt besides of just your regular salt. That's definitely a lot, but that was my bad. So we're gonna do a little bit of garlic salt, nothing too crazy, and then some black pepper. I'm gonna cry. Why? Oh come on. I need to learn how to use it. It's fine, we can just rub it in. Oh God, that was a lot. Well, no lack of flavor in this burger. All right, let's get out of here before I cry. Oh. Looking good. All right. Sweet potato fries, our burger's cooking. It is looking good. Oh no, what just fell? Ah, sick. 
That's how windy it is. Jesus, the wind is making it so hard for this food to cook. How's it going? Yeah, good. My name is Barry. Nice to meet you. Uh, you Becky? Uh, Becca. Becca. Okay, Becca. Yeah. Listen, I'm headed down the Cumberland Farm. Okay. And if you want anything to drink. I'm okay. I, I stacked up on everything. Okay. But thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm also going to get some snail salad. Snail salad? <laughs> Go for it, man. The issue right now is I'm obviously like, I'm a girl, I'm a female, I'm scared and I'm alone. Uh, this is also like the reality of truck camping alone for me is if I was a male, I have better odds of it not being weird that, you know, two men approached me. He, uh, his buddy showed up and they're both like fixing the Jeeps over there and fixing the RV and whatnot. But like, it's, it's weird for me. Like I get that they're probably super nice people and like never judge a book by its cover, but it's weird for me. I get nervous. Um, I have plenty of protection on me, but like this is like, yeah, truck camping being a girl is, is terrifying. I don't want to seem rude and mean and for them to be whatever. Should I just wave and say bye and go eat somewhere else and then come back in a couple of hours and pray that they're gone when it's dark out? Like this sucks. It puts like a whole wrench in my, my plan and my day and my food's gonna get cold and I'm... Okay, well he just waved to me. Dude, it just sucks. Ugh, I'm coming back here. I mean, I don't have to camp here by any means. Um, I don't know. Dude, I don't know what to do. I don't know where I would even camp. I'm like in the middle of like basically a city. Look at all them ducks. I'm trying to, why is there so many people out and about? Can you guys go home? I'm home, technically, so. Come on, come on. I haven't really shut off my food, but sweet potato fries and burger. I was gonna do like lettuce, like a lettuce bun. I didn't feel like spending money on lettuce. So the lettuce was kind of out of the budget. So now we just have a lonely burger. I mean, not that lonely because it has some ketchup, so. Out of all that hecticness and chaos, today's video is sponsored by Mystery Taco Box. Mystery Taco Box is important for this video for the giveaway as well. But if you know what Mystery Taco Box is, it's a monthly subscription based company that sends a box full of baits and lures to your doorstep every single month. You can do a bass box, ice fishing box, which actually just ended, so you're gonna have to wait till next year to do that. Um, or not next year, but end of this year. Catfish, walleye, panfish, multi-species, trout box, you name it, they have it. Whatever type, whatever type of fishing you're into, they have it. Um, and saltwater. If you guys wanna go check them out, They'll be linked down below. I've been working with them for about two years now. I don't know how they're not sick of me, but they're not. So, ooh, this burger is delicious. Oh my. It's honestly seasoned pretty perfect. That was some good, that, that's a good burger. They'll be linked down below if you guys wanna go check them out. Massive support of the channel. Without them, I wouldn't be able to do what I am doing right now, which is eating a burger with my seatbelt on while we're parked. If you are interested, you can get your first ever mystery tackle box for 10 bucks, for as low as 10 bucks. If you use my code, code Becca, B-E-C-C-A, okay? B-E-C-C-A, you can get a really cheap box and it'll be beautiful. And uh, you basically get like 20, 30 bucks of free lures just by using my code. So use my code, support the channel so I can keep making videos. And, um, and you get some great baits. It's kind of a win-win. Not kind of, it is a win-win. And then we'll talk about the giveaway later. There's not really much to the giveaway. It's pretty cool though, but we'll talk about it later whenever we're laying down in bed. 
After I figure out where the hell I'm gonna camp tonight. Woohoo! Alright, well that's that dude's RV and from the looks of it, he is no longer here. So, that's nice. Um, that's kind of what I was hoping for. So we're gonna just probably park on the other end of this place, which is, you know, whatever. But I did just read a sign saying it's free 24 hour commuter parking, so we should be fine. I don't think I'm gonna have an issue here, but there is a car, of course, parked right where I want to park for the night and someone's sitting inside of it. Ah. Hey yo, someone totally broke into that car right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> oh, someone got their windows smashed here. Huh, I don't know who thought this was a great camping spot. Come on guys, it wasn't me. All right, doing a quick little show and tell. I got some really cool things. <laughs> so this one's chocolate donut. This one's pizza. This one's gingerbread cookie, which I'm super excited about this one. This one's ketchup seasoning. Good old pumpkin pie. This one is ranch, which uh, sadly has dairy in it, but I'm just gonna give this one to my family or something, but this one's cool. Chicken and waffles, my guy. Unreal. And then buttery cinnamon roll. Now, we have a plain yogurt. What one are we gonna do? My three options right now are obviously chocolate donut, gingerbread cookie, and buttery cinnamon roll. This one, pumpkin pie. I feel like that wouldn't be self-explanatory. Let's try the gingerbread cookie. Woo! Woo! That's good. Buttery cinnamon roll. That one's not bad. Last but not least, chocolate freaking donut. When I want a chicken dinner. Oh my God, that's good. All right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna throw this in our bed. We're gonna get into our slumber and then talk about the giveaway. How about that? Let's go lay down. <sighs> Welcome to my crib. What, what am I giving away? So in Uncharted, if you watched it, I won uh, the fly fishing challenge and Post Fly actually teamed up and is uh, now in the same company and business as Mystery Tackle Box because it just made sense, right? So Post Fly, is the name of this company. It's basically Mystery Tackle Box, but for fly fishermen. Um, it worked out perfect. And I actually met the CEO of this company and he is the coolest dude ever. His name's Brian. He's a rad guy. And in this box, <laughs> it's a lot of fly fishing stuff. So in this giveaway, um, just make sure you're subscribed, drop a like and drop a comment and you'll be automatically entered to win. Uh, you can comment, comment something about fly fishing if you want, whatever your heart desires, you can comment and you will win a six months free subscription you six months of getting one of these boxes shipped to your doorstep for six months you get one box every month for six months for free um that's the giveaway man what's inside this you might be asking yourself you might be asking yourself back out what is in this everything a fly fisherman <laughs> needs and some other stuff that just flew out this is so sick um I don't even know how many flies these are, but this is a lot of flies right here. And then in the back, I'll tell you like when you should throw it and like all the information about every single fly on this. This is cool. I don't know what this is. Oh, so this is for like storing your uh, flies. You can put it in here. This thing's awesome. It says post fly right on it. And it just, that's sick. This is 
wax for your fly fishing line or something? I don't understand fly fishing. Heavy duty rod care and it's wax. That's pretty freaking sick. You get a dope fly fishing sticker, fly fishing line, and a fly box. And in this box is a microfiber towel. Are you kidding me? Look at the little towel with all the fly fishing stuff on it. As most of you guys know, I, I do fly fish time to time, but I ain't no professional. So giveaway, enter down below, do all that cool fun stuff. I'm not even hungry for my chocolate covered donut yogurt. Maybe I will be in a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna relax a little bit, keep you guys updated if anything happens, but I'm definitely a little freaked out right now just because those guys know what my truck look like and if they see that I'm here and they come back or whatever, they, they know I'm sleeping in here, which is a vulnerable uh, situation. Vulnerable? I think I said it wrong. Anyways, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, a little nervous, but I got protection. Watch out! <laughs> that just made me sound like such a loser. I swear I have protection, all right? I ain't afraid to use it. It's so crazy how much rain and how hard it is coming down right now. And it's literally right here. Right above us, it is just torrential downpouring. I haven't even fallen asleep yet. This rain just like picked up right after the last time I talked to you guys and now it's like picking up, picking up, so. The gust of wind is like few and far in between, but when the gusts do come, the whole truck shakes pretty gnarly. But this rain is so peaceful. The work traffic right now is incredible. Everyone's just headed to work. It's windy, it's it's cold, it's very cold, and I'm hungry. I'm very hungry. It is whipping outside right now. 
But we're making some breakfast. Um, I'm gonna talk to you guys after the breakfast is done and kinda talk about the night real quick and what I experienced, because it was quite interesting to say the least. to state the obvious but I uh, definitely did not sleep very well last night it was just like I left the hot sauce back there we can't eat hold on hold on yeah yeah it was loud um, I turned on the GoPro a couple times last night when it got like loud loud um, just so you guys could witness it there was a couple moments where I didn't even turn on the GoPro because I was like low-key like trying to ignore it and trying to sleep and like in and out of it and um yeah it just like mm, it wasn't the best sleep of my life the Cajun spices and the hot sauce is making this um a little spicier than I expected I'm not mad about it it's obviously still raining and windy right now but the the rain is in and out of it right now which is why the second i saw it stop raining i jumped out of the truck didn't care how early it was and decided to start cooking um the wind is is it's here it's here and it's not going anywhere that's for sure it's i woke up this morning and it said 32 miles per hour and that's not including gust and usually the weather app isn't that accurate so but was I scared a power line was gonna follow me last night? Yeah, I was. <sighs> Make sure to enter the giveaway. The giveaway is really cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I know I did, it was a blast. Um, it's something I've been wanting to do is like New England gets hit with some pretty bad storms sometimes and I've been just waiting for my opportunity to truck camp in it and Yeah, it did uh, exceed my expectations. It was loud. It was windy I was getting like motion sickness at one point because of how much you're getting throttled around back there, but it was fun <laughs> It was an experience and I would definitely do it again um, It makes you feel like you're one with the elements. I guess I don't really know how to explain it unless you know what I'm saying and you done it yourself. Anyways, check out today's video sponsor, uh, Mystery Tackle Box, and make sure to enter the giveaway, do all that cool stuff. I'm gonna head back somewhere where I'm not gonna say, cause it's gonna ruin the next video. Let's, uh, we're on a grind, baby, uh, right now. Anyways, I'm exhausted, running on zero sleep, if you can't tell, I'm like hallucinating, so maybe I should nap. I'm gonna nap. I'm gonna make the executive decision to nap before anything. And yeah, you guys don't care. It's okay. I love you. Thank you so much for clicking on today's episode. I'll catch you beautiful people next time. I'm just gonna throw this in at the end of the video, but apparently the storm was so bad last night that the lights um, aren't working. So I'm gonna go show you guys that. It's just blinking yellow. So it looks like a lot of people lost power last night. I'm just coming to find out, so that's cool. Told you it was a bad storm. 